So hello guys and welcome back. Today I'll be unboxing or taking the Duna Dona, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, stroller car seat out of the box. But before I do, I want to show you guys the box and all the specifications on it. And yeah. So this is the box. And then this is the specifications of the weight, the height, what's included, which is a car seat, the car seat base, which that's a good thing. You don't have to purchase it separately. And then all this other stuff. So if you guys have seen in my previous video, I mentioned how this specific car seat slash Dolo was recommended by my husband's best friend. She had a kid two years ago, and this is what she was using for the first few months. The only downside that I seen, well, there's two. When I was researching this, was that it was heavy once the baby grows. And that you have to replace it with a regular stroller and another car seat once the baby grows out of it which i think it's a downside i mean i do have another stroller i will be unboxing it in one of my next videos but she raves about it she recommended it she really highly recommends it by the way and i trust her judgment she's a mom that i know she has three kids so she has been through car seats and strollers and all the nonsense and i trust her judgment and whether better way to purchase something or to have something purchased for you that someone uses trust and go by actually there's three downsides besides the kid growing out of it having to purchase a new one supposedly it has really low ratings for safety so just keep that in mind um i will make a video after i used it at least for one to two months and I'll give you guys an update. But for now, this is just an unboxing. And again, it was highly recommended from someone I trust that has three kids. And I have seen the stroller in person when she brought it to my house. And her baby was a newborn. So, again, I trust her judgment. You cannot just go by, you know, I mean, you can if you do your research. And everybody's saying, don't get it, don't get it, to each his own. I know someone that personally uses this, has used it, had it, gave it to someone else, and this is what I'm going to use for now. So now, let's take it out of the box. So this is how it comes, and honestly, it is heavy. It is super heavy. Oh my god. So you don't have to buy separately. Let me take all this out of the wrapping and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I'm out of breath. But um, before I show you how to actually use the stroller slash car seat, I brought this. So it shows you the accessories that come to it. And then I wanted to talk about the base. If you are like me and you don't know how to properly install a base so the baby could be secure, I suggest you go into your local fire station and they will happily install the base and the car seat for you. Since this is a car seat stroller, I don't need obviously this installed, but I do need the base. But it also comes with directions. remove before you so I'm not gonna remove that right now and as I mentioned this is heavy the base is heavy so far the car seat itself is heavy so when you take it off stroller mode and then you have to lift it with the baby so this is gonna be a little too much for me um, I'm gonna show you guys the stroller up close and then we're gonna assemble it. I'm gonna show you how to turn it 
turn it into a stroller and then back to a car seat. So this is the famous Duna in all its glory. Oh, Dona again. It has all of this warnings on it. It has this little comfortable area for the baby and it's detachable. Seatbelt, which I'm going to play with. Not right now since I'm holding the camera. But once I show you guys how to take it off stroller mode and back into car seat mode, I'll play around with this because this is very important. Once the baby's inside, you want to be able to push and take the baby out as quickly as possible and not waste time. Well, at least I do. How the size look. The wheels. Mm. Button is to. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out right now. And I always suggest you read the manual. So I will be reading this. I don't know how to use this yet. But yeah, this is the car seats and it's glory. It has a little shade for the baby. And like I said, my only complaint so far, as of right now, because I feel like the seatbelt is also going to be a complaint, is how heavy it is. And then, let's take a look at the base. This is the base. So I also will be reading the manual for this. Um... Even though, like I mentioned, I'll probably go to the fire station to have them correctly install this in my car themselves. Okay, I'm reading the booklet. I don't know how to use this yet, so. And the first part is in Spanish. Two languages, Spanish and English. And it, sh it shows you everything. The buttons are where, what to press, how it should be installed in the car. I'm sorry that it's a little dark. I don't know why it's so dark. How the handle goes back and forth. And what I want to learn is, like I mentioned, the seat belt and how to turn into a stroller. So I'm going to read up on this and then I'll be right back. So I wanted to show you the car seat on the base that's how it looks and now i'm gonna take it off the base and i'm gonna show you guys how to turn into a stroller and then back into a car seat okay guys so yes i'm on the floor i am out of breath from playing with this a few times before actually recording to show you guys how to actually turn into a stroller so it is off the base in the back you will find a button or a handle with a little red i'm gonna say button and what you're gonna do to turn this into a stroller is push this button up and the wheels pop up so this button all you have to do is push it up and the wheels will pop out okay so in the front of the stroller you're gonna find two pedals one is green and one is red and when you press the red down that's when the wheels lock. The only thing I am liking so far about the stroller is actually the wheels because once it's unlocked, the wheels move with you. They go everywhere and anywhere and I love that. And let's talk about the seat belt which I want this to be on the other side 
so I'm gonna adjust my camera. And this is a part that I don't really like, which is the seatbelt. It's um, unbuckling the seatbelt. I had such a little struggle with this, or struggle. And I honestly don't know, it's because of my nails. I don't, my nails are short. I usually get longer than this. But if I am struggling right now, I'm gonna have to get them a lot shorter than what they currently are. So the seat belt is fastened. And now I'm gonna unfasten it for you again. Let me adjust my camera. And I am sorry guys that it looks a little bit dark. And I'm gonna actually be doing this with my opposite hands um, so you guys could see. So you push here. If I do it like this, you're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try to do it like this. Push here, it comes off, and then you have to push this red button to take these buckles out. And that's it. That's it. But I'm still struggling with this part. So, I'm going to keep practicing. So now let's talk about the handle. Um, it has two gray buttons on the side, on each side of the handle. And this is what you're going to use to adjust it back and forth. Um, let's see. So you're going to press both sides. And you can adjust it back and forth. When you are putting this back in car seat mode, you're going to have to adjust the handles back, or at least this far, which I will show you obviously later. For now, I want to talk about the handle. And you could adjust the handle using this button right here you could make it let me move the camera back you can keep it at this height if it's comfortable for you or you can make it even higher and again to adjust it you just press the button again Ta -da! and that's it for the handle <laughs> um i need to adjust my camera I need to get up to show you guys how to actually turn this back into a car seat. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna move the handle back to this position. Then the button on the handle and the button in the back to turn into a stroller you're gonna press them both at the same time and you're gonna kick the wheels back so I am pressing the button on the handle I am pressing or pushing the button on the back up at the same time and then I'm pressing the wheels back with my foot and that is how you turn it back into a car seat <laughs> So right now I am super out of breath because I've been practicing a lot on how to maneuver this car seat slash stroller or the donut. So far, so far I don't like it. I feel like it is heavy. The moms on social media were right about that. But since I just unboxed it and started using it, I cannot give my honest, honest opinion. I mean, I am giving my honest opinion right now because I don't like it right now. But I have to use it a few more times before I honestly make up my mind. And not in my house. I have to actually go out, make sure a baby's inside, and test it out the right way. I am planning to put 10 pound weights in the car seats, going downstairs, 
adjusting the base in my car and then taking the car seat out and in of the car to see how uncomfortable how comfortable it is before the baby gets here i want to do that to test it out as i mentioned this was highly recommended from my husband's best friend she has three kids so she's been through car seats and strollers and this is what she recommends so i am gonna keep good faith and believe that this will work out for me if it doesn't in a month and a half to two months i will give you a review if i like it or not if it's worth it if you should waste your money how safe it is and i'll let you guys know because i don't want you guys to get something and it's a total disaster what i'll try to do also in the future for that review show you all how to set it up when the baby's inside how difficult it is to take the seatbelt off but honestly like i mentioned i feel like all car seats the buckles in the car seats are just so tedious it's a headache and it's not just because of my nose but today i'm gonna bring my nose if you have any questions or concern relating to this car seat please comment down below that way i can better answer them in my next video of my updates um and i do have another stroller it's a dior stroller that stroller was also difficult to play around with because i played around with it in the store and even the sales associates didn't know what they were doing so that's also gonna be an interesting video I'll probably be out of breath again setting that stroller up especially since that stroller is a grow with me stroller it has a bassinet and then it has the regular I don't know what you call it but where you could put the toddler as always thank you guys for watching don't forget to like thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye